So I am here to do a quick little haul for you guys. Um, I purchased a few bits on ASOS and even though it's not overly too much, I wanted to show you anyway because I just want to share the excitement. I literally have lost three pounds since being back at work. Not money, <laughs> not money, but actual physical weight. And so I thought I'll put it all back on today with a McDonald's. So basically I'm in a bit of a uh, change of scenery just because I am a bit bored with like my usual filming place and I just wanted to stand up when I do like these hauls because you know you're able to sort of move around a little bit more whereas when I'm sat down I feel a bit fixated. Also additionally um, if you're interested in sort of my fashion style and sense basically I don't have any at all. I'm a real plain basic girl and I'll occasionally buy things that I think are really pretty or really interesting. If you come in here for Instagram worthy content, this is not the place. So ASOS I feel like is a place you have to really spend quite a bit of time on because there's so much stuff and it can be really overwhelming. So I took like a few days to literally study the whole website and then that way I could see what was new in and stuff and I could keep track of it a little bit better. But I also got 20% off everything as well because I used like a code and I thought it come off sale and I thought this was amazing. So the first things I picked up were two pairs of boots, but one of which I had to send back and I'll explain that in a mo. But these are the boots that I picked up, if that's going to focus in. And I love a pair of black boots. I absolutely love them. And I saw these and I think I ended up paying like 12 pounds with the discount. And I know we're going into sort of spring and summer and stuff and boots kind of go up in the attic or they like go in the furthest part of your wardrobe. But I will never say no to a really good pair of black boots. I have like a little obsession with them. So I picked these up mainly because of the heel. I just don't have anything, whoa, hang on. You guys, the sun has been in all day and the minute I get my camera out, it just decides to have a party, so. Yeah. So yeah, I mainly bought these for the heel because I don't have anything like these at all. And they're very block platform heel, which will not be to everyone's taste. Um, but I really like that. I feel like the heels are really supported and it's just interesting. It's quite edgy. Um, and I also picked them up because I like this sort of dual tone here of the, the fake suede and then also like this croc. Um, pleather at the back and I just thought these were so interesting you know you could wear these with literally anything um, black boots are a really good staple to have in your wardrobe and I thought at 12 pounds this is just incredible so the second pair of boots I'll put like a picture up of them and you know you never know whose video you're watching and who what things you have in your basket and whether or not they're the same these boots were wide fit boots and I don't have wide feet, but I don't have narrow feet. I'm sort of somewhere in the middle. And these boots were so tight. I got them in my usual size of a seven. And they were just so ridiculously tight. I had to send them back around the ankle. So when I was walking, the fat on my ankle, which there isn't much, uh, would fold over. They felt really tight. And I thought, you know what? They look great if I'm standing still, but to walk in it's just so impractical and they were inexpensive as well I think they were maybe like 10 pounds they were really lovely looking boots but they were just no did not work I didn't actually pick up much you guys like I didn't pick up loads or anything oh for god's sake right the next thing I picked up was I picked up quite a lot of ASOS design stuff which I think is really worth investing in because it's really really nice so I picked up this uh, ruched crop top here in this really nice like terracotta shade and it's got super super baggy is this bow sleeves I don't know um and it's with this sort of ruche in here so basically you can pull down the hang on I'm trying to do this without seeing it yeah basically you can pull this section down and give it like a little tie and stuff and it is cropped and it's kind of like this linen material and I know that's not everyone's um, favorite material it's not certainly mine I didn't realize it was this sort of like linen um, kind of like cheesecloth <laughs> materials the only way I can think of it so yeah I basically wanted to pair it with a pair of jeans that I also purchased and I thought come spring summer when things are a bit more tanned um, we are maybe allowed to go out the house again 
I thought this would look really, really nice. So I got this in a 12. I wish I'd got it in a 10 because I feel like I need it just to be a little bit more fitted. Um, but yeah, this with like a leather skirt, a uh, pair of leather trousers, um, and then just very light wash denim, I think is gonna look so, so nice come the summer months. The next thing I picked up was a more recent purchase and I don't know actually if I'm gonna keep this. Um, I've sort of been toying with the idea of it for ages and I've, I do actually quite like it. And I'm acting like it's somewhat really like, you know, amazing, but it's just a plain bodysuit. Now this is from AX Paris, which can be a little bit more of an expensive brand. And I picked this bodysuit up here. It's one of these really nice high neck racer tops. I picked this up in a 14 because I don't trust AX Paris sizes. I've had stuff from there before. And this was when I was skinnier than what I was now, and I fitted into a 16. Um, so I don't know what goes on with the sizes, because I feel like it's not true to size at all. I like the colour of it, but I just think it's really expensive for a bodysuit, do you know what I mean? So I intended to buy this with a car- to wear this, sorry, with a cardigan that I've also purchased. I don't know if you can see the colour very well there. Um, but yeah, the reason I'm kind of thinking about keeping it is because it is a really nice material. Like it's a really good quality bodysuit. It fits nice, it doesn't drape anywhere. The only annoying thing is you can't really, like you, you'll see your bra straps in it. That's like the annoying thing, but I might have to just boob tube it. And also, I know this sounds really silly, but this section here is really good quality. So I hate the bodysuits where you unpop them and the whole poppers come off. These don't have that, they're really secure and so I don't have any fears about that at all. And I just thought you could wear this with just like a skirt, a pair of, you know, um, shorts, like denim shorts and then maybe like a white long line cardigan in summer. I think I'm going to keep it. So I haven't actually got a belt on me at the minute so it's a bit difficult to sort of show you but to be fair, I don't know, I feel like this is maybe a bit too figure hugging. Now the next thing I think will be like Marmite for a few people. So I put a picture up of me wearing this on Instagram. Oh, what's going on? My roots aren't that orange. I don't know why they look really warm, but they're not at all, Never mind. So yeah, I put a picture up of me wearing this on Instagram and it was very split opinion, but more people sided with me not taking it back because I asked if I should take it back. But I told you it would split public opinion. So it's this dress here from Dark Pink and I have had my eye on this for the longest time. All this stuff is sold out in my size and I just thought, oh, and I saw a size and I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna try it because I've heard that the reviews of these dresses that they do come up smaller, which they do, can I add? So I bought this in a size 16 and I'm usually a 10 or a 12 probably more on the 12 side of things because I don't like things being skin tight. This is what the sleeves look like. They're really nice and frilly and then you've got this sort of like elastic, um, maybe sort of coming up towards your inner elbow. On the actual sleeves, they're really nice and drapey and it's kind of like the design of the terracotta um, top that I showed you. So it's kind of a bit of a square neckline. And I think what might split public opinion along with the pattern is the front. So the front of the dress is, sorry, there's people staring at me. So this is the dress and then it's got this bit of material which ties up at the front and can be a bit annoying. I'm gonna be really honest. It's a really lovely, quite heavy dress that does zip up at the back, but it's a bit too small in terms of like general sizing. It didn't look really anything like on the model, which was a shame. But it might just be interesting to see whether or not you like this dress. Is it Marmite? Do we like the pattern? Which I thought was quite cute. It's got like little flowers with, do you know what I mean? I didn't think I'd ever wear green and pink together, but I think it is quite nice. So the next thing I picked up is something that I didn't think that I would actually end up buying because I didn't really like these. And it's a long line, um, Sorry, I'm really conscious about what my hair looks like at the minute. So yeah, it's like a really long line uh, cardigan with sort of like these balloon sleeves, if you can see them. And it's super, super long line. It comes to me, it's like a maxi dress, do you know what I mean? But it's it only comes to sort of just above your ankles, which is good. This isn't something that I would usually buy 
Um, it was about £32, but I got a discount on it, so it was like 20 something odd. Um, but this is part of the ASOS design range, and I love this so much. And hopefully they bring out some more colours, because I'm I'm going to buy all of them. I just had, like, the weirdest experience ever. I heard somebody come up the stairs, and I was like, oh, Ben, like, thinking it would be him and stuff. And then for a second, I forgot I had a dog, and then I, my brain was just like, there's a random dog in your house. Screamed. And he, like, he literally ran off and I was like oh my god that's my dog anyway so I think I have found my absolute favorite jeans brand which is brilliant because I absolutely love jeans and these are from reclaimed vintage now I have my eye on a pair and it's not these ones um but I'm gonna go and get them anyway because I really really like these ones they look quite similar I guess so this is what they look like and I love this color blue like this is just my absolute favorite jean color i'm not one for super light wash or super dark wash but somewhere in between is my vibe these are mum jeans or mum jeans whatever you want to call them and i always feel like mum jeans on me like the reason i never used to wear them is because i used to have quite big thighs and every mum jean would stick to my thighs and then be super baggy on the bottom. But these fit so, so nice without making you look bigger than what you actually are, because that was another thing I didn't like. But I found now that my skinny jeans actually make me look bigger than these. So they're super, super flattering. It's got a really, like I've got a thing for this being on the back of jeans. I don't know why, very Levi's-esque. I've got these, I think, in a waist... Yeah, I got these in a waist 22, no 32, sorry. And I probably could have done with a waist 30, to be honest, because they are baggy and I do have to wear about with them. But they don't sort of ruffle up at the back or anything. They're not, these ones are not stretchy. And I was a bit worried when I first got them out of the packet because I thought, oh, here we go. Like, this always happens. And I always favor more elastic-y, stretchy jeans. But even though these don't have elastic in, they fit so comfortable and they hug you in all the right places. They sit on your waist so well. So these can be a bit more on the pricier side. They're about 32 to 36 pounds, I think, in terms of like the range of prices. But again, if you get a discount code, they take them down to 20 something pounds. And, you know, I have River Island jeans, I have Topshop jeans. These feel better quality than those, and these are still cheaper. Right, so I've got two final things. No, I haven't, that was a lie. I've got four things, but two of them are a top, two of them are dresses. So these two tops here couldn't be more polar opposite, because one's just a basic tee, the other one is a basic, sort of a bit more of a dressier top. So with the more dressier top, I got this for £9, then I had 20% discount, so what's that, 7 20 And I'm gonna go and get another one of these because they're bloody brilliant. Like, if you work in like an office job or somewhere where you need to be a bit more formal, these, honestly, you guys, go and get this top. So it's quite silky, as you can probably see, but it's a bit more of a textured silk. And I think that makes it a bit more easier to sort of iron and it doesn't crease as much. You know, all the adult talk things. But yeah, what I really like about this so much is the neck. So I know it's a basic top, but how this neck is sort of folded makes it just look that bit more interesting and that bit a bit more dressier. And you could wear this whenever, like on a night out with like, I don't know, a skirt or just something dressy, but then you could also wear it at work. So it's also got these elasticated sleeves that are about three quarter length. But yeah, I've worn this so much since I've had it. I wear it with like a midi skirt to work and it just looks so formal and you feel so put together when um, you have it. And I think for about £7.20, like, can you really go wrong? This is the top, you guys, the one that I was on about where you can sort of move it up and just have it sort of like frilling down and stuff like this. But yeah, I just pair this with this midi skirt from New Look and I quite like it. I think it's like, can you see what I mean about how it's like really structured nicely and it's just like different from that typical black top. I like this one. Then the other top I got is from a brand called Collusion. I don't know if ASOS create this brand or if it's an independent indie brand. I really don't know. But I've had a I've had a hoodie from Collusion before and it's really good quality material. So I don't doubt this brand at all. I think they put out really good stuff from what I've tried. So it's just a plain basic top, but the reason I got this is because I don't have a top in this color. It's kind of like an acidy wash gray slash green. 
I don't know, it's just really interesting. But I thought this with a pair of denim shorts and then like something just to throw over the top in summer is just gonna look so good. But in terms of like the sleeves and stuff and sort of the neckline with the, I just really like this being thick. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this section here, I really like that being thick and I like it. I think it'll go, yeah, I think it'll go quite nice with my hair maybe when it's done anyway. Final two pieces are the same thing, just different, okay? So again, these might not be to everyone's taste and I bought these more so for work because I, I don't know, I just wanted to up my style a little bit. Basically, I bought this first one here for work. I really liked the look of this dress and what I like so much about them is they look conservative and you might be looking at them thinking, ooh, but it's not to your taste. But what I like so much about this dress is it's got such an interesting feature to it that it can become a bit more young and fun because it has quite a thick, uh, not thick, sorry, quite a high, um, what's it called? Like slit, like a leg slit. You know, your leg pokes out through the, <laughs> the dress. You get the idea. But I love this colour so, so much. It's like a really lovely warm tone beige. It's conservative enough to wear to work because the, the thigh slit isn't out all the time. It's got this like sort of piece of material covering it. So your thigh is not gonna be out all, you know, all over the place. What I like so much about this as well is it's got the same neckline as that black top that I've just showed you. It's like a cowl neck. It's, it's quite interesting up here. I really like ruffles. It's got a tie waist, um, sort of poppers on the back and then a zip on the side. It's really thick quality material and it is midi. So it comes to, you know, depending on how tall you are, I'm like five, six or seven, and it comes to literally mid leg. And also another thing about these dresses is, is that they are not see-through at all. Like the quality is so, so good. Yeah, it's just a dress that looks really, really dressy. You could wear it to most formal settings. I was a bit worried about these, like aging me a little bit. Not that's, a, well, no, I mean, I'm 25. I don't want to look older than what I am. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I was just a bit worried that it was a bit too uh, sort of classic and just a little bit aging on me maybe. But I like that option of having that thigh slit there and it just looking really feminine and really nice. So yeah, I love these. I love the cow neck more so. I like the sleeves, the quality material. And I think these were about £35. And again, I had some discounts. So it comes to like, what, 29 Oh my God, there's a huge bumblebee at the window. This is amazing. So this is also what it looks like from this side with the mirror. And like I said, I think it can be, I don't know. I feel like I've gone off it since I bought it to be fair. Um, and this also needs to be done up because that's sort of like, oh. So yeah, that's sort of like how long it is and stuff. But like I said, you've got that little sort of section where when you're walking and stuff, you've got cheeky bit of leg on show. But yeah, I like the color. I'm just try it out, wear it and let other people tell me. So I just show you from this view as well. The only thing is I'm like sort of changed my mind on it now because I swear it looked better on me the other day. I don't know, maybe I just feel like I've got, I feel like I'm wearing something from Star Wars now. Definitely keeping the black one because that looks really, really nice and I've not changed my mind on that one whatsoever. But I just don't know about this one. Like, does it make me look a little bit older? I don't know, maybe with some heels. Oh, how about that? Also, I forgot to mention, I've got these sunglasses from Monkey, I think it is, and they just look like this. They come in like a little case and stuff, and then, oh, I don't know about these either. They look baby. Do you know what, now I'm trying all the stuff on, I don't actually know if I like it. <laughs> I think that's quite bad, isn't it? But yeah, they're the sunglasses. I think they'll be okay when I'm a bit more glam and I've got a bit more self-confidence, I think. Maybe, no. Maybe it's just the dress. I think it's the dress throwing me off. So that was my haul today, guys. I hope you enjoy it. You know, I am somebody who likes quite simple, basic things. I'm not one of these people that will buy things with trends. I just wear, I just buy stuff I know that I'm gonna wear. So hopefully it was interesting. Uh, thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.